Hello everyone and welcome to the program. This is Politics Today live on Channels Television. Shocking by the What a day. It's four years already, isn't it? As the members of the National Assembly in both chambers of the National Assembly today bowed out, giving way to the start of another dispensation in the lawmaking process in Nigeria. The 8th Assembly held its last round of activities with a special validity session at the National Assembly Complex, Abuja. Nigeria operated by camera legislature with both chambers, that is the Senate and the House of Representatives, um, uh, the, the legislative arm of government uh, ending the, the term of the 8th session. Today's session marked the end of the 8th Assembly, which was inaugurated on the 9th of June 2015 and also paved way for the inauguration of the 9th National Assembly. The 9th National Assembly will, however, be inaugurated on June the 11th. And on that day, new leaders of both chambers are expected to emerge. There's some more interesting political stories for you on our political roundup. The leadership of the All Progressives Congress in Ekita State has been given justifications for the suspension of some big weights in the party. The gale of suspension in the Ekiti APC has recently seen former Governor Shegwoni and ex-federal lawmaker Bimbo Daramola suspended at their various wards. The party says they committed anti-party offences and refused to turn up when invited through letters for explanations at their wards. For the leadership of the party, no weight is too heavy to be shed, as it insists the affected chieftains have run foul of the party's constitution and shall be punished accordingly. Nobody is above the law. The constitution is very clear. No, even the governor who is the leader of the party in the state is not above the law. Meanwhile, the chairman board of trustees of the Action Democratic Party, ADP, and a former national chairman of the All People's Party, APP, Alani Bankole, has asked President Muhammad Buhari to commence the process of returning the country from the presidential to parliamentary system of government, saying that real development has been stiffened under the current system. If he actually willing to fight corruption to the barest minimum, is to change the political system to restructure Nigeria along the line of the practice of presidential system to that of uh, parliamentary system. And the Delta State Governor Ifai Yokowa and his Edo State counterpart, Mr. Gordon Obasaki, met at the government house in Asaba, the Delta State capital, to discuss security concerns in the two states. According to them, it is necessary to brainstorm on security concerns in the two states to forge economic and social ties amongst other developmental issues. Aside security, other issues bordering on the economy, energy production, the Niger Delta Development Commission, NDDC, as well as resolving boundary disputes were also discussed. Well, let's get down to business, everyone. Some uh, may say it is the president's body language that is working this time around, different from what we saw in 2015, or the political, the power of political negotiation. Well, call it whatever you may, but it appears, whatever it is, it is working. Today, a major contender has dropped out of the race for the Senate presidency in the 9th National Assembly, Senator Danjuma Goje, one of the former governors in the National Assembly, is stepping down and has agreed to endorse Senator Hamid Lawan for the position. The governor of uh, Kaduna State, Nasser El Rufa, was at a meeting earlier today where Senator Hamid Lawan, Senator Danjuma Goje was also president. And uh, at the end of that meeting, he had a press uh, briefing where he said he and the two lawmakers met with President Buhari over the Senate leadership. And Senator Goje has agreed to step down in favor of Senator Lawan. Well, Senator Goje says he has deferred to the choice of President Buhari and the APC and that his support is born out of personal conviction and love for his party. The difference to my loyalty to my party, APC, in the interest of the unity of our party and the development of this country, 
in order to assist Mr. President to deliver uh, on his promises, I have decided to respect his wish by not declaring to contest this Senate presidency. Instead, I am supporting the position of the party and its own position, thereby endorsing the candidature of Senator Amelan.